I have a difference of two rational functions here. I want to simplify this difference and, as always, state any restrictions on the variables. So in order to combine these two fractions together, I need to have a common denominator. So what I'm going to do is figure out the lowest common multiple, or lowest common denominator, of 3 and 8. And based on, hopefully, some work we did back in grade 7 or 6, you can see that the least common multiple in this case is going to be 24. Again, 24 is a multiple of 8. It is a multiple of 3. There's nothing smaller than 24 into which 3 and 8 divide. Now, what times 3 will give me 24? Well, that's quite simple. 3 times 8. And if I do that to the bottom, I do it to the top. What times 8 will give me 24? Well, the answer is 3. And the answer here is 3 as well. So what do I get now? My new fraction is going to look something like or my new set of fractions is going to look something like this. I'll have 18a, sorry, 16a on the top, all over 24, minus 5 times 3 is 15a, all over 24. So let's take a look here. I'm going to take this expression, bring it over here so I have some space to work with, now I can combine these two fractions together. They have a common denominator, so I take the numerators, subtract them, and express them all over the common denominator. Well, 16a and 15a are common or like terms, so I can actually subtract them, perform an operation, and I end up with a over 24. Now, there were no variables in the denominator, so in that case, there are no restrictions on our final answer.